Eight things all of us are dead season two must include after years of waiting all of us are dead. One of Netflix's most popular K-dramas has yet to release a new season more than two years after the show's debut. All of us are dead is taking a long time to release season two. Which is why Netflix's hit zombie K-drama will have to deliver something better or at least as good as season one once it returns. All of us are dead premiered on January 28th, 2022 and was renewed for a second season in June of that same year. Still, Despite being widely considered one of Netflix's best K-dramas, the series has yet to return the only official look at All of Us Are Dead Season 2 was a renewal announcement video featuring the show's lead actors. The series was not included in Netflix's 2024 K-drama slate, suggesting All of Us Are Dead will only return in 2025. Such a large window between the first and second seasons may play against the zombie K-drama, which will have to reconnect with audiences after multiple years. For all of us are dead season 2 to be worth the long wait. It will have to check a few boxes between the long wait for season 2 and the fact most of the first season's storylines were resolved already. It is safe to say all of us are dead 2 will include new characters. Every show eventually needs to reinvent itself slightly. Especially if all of the source material they are based on has been covered already. Additionally, quite a few all of us are dead characters have died already, from heroes to villains. As such, it will not be surprising to see many new faces in All of Us Are Dead Season 2. However, the zombie series must not shift the focus away from the likes of Anjo, Su Hyuk, Nam Ra, and Chang San. Sweet Home Season 2 made a similar mistake and introduced way too many characters while not giving the show's original protagonists enough screen time. Song Kang's Hai and Su was barely in Sweet Home 2, whereas some of the newer characters appeared in every episode. Adding new faces will help All of Us Are Dead start fresh. But this should not come at the expense of sidelining the current protagonists. The show's current supporting characters must also not be forgotten that All of Us Are Dead needs to settle whether Chung San is alive more than two years after All of Us Are Dead Season 1's finale. The show has yet to settle whether Chung San is dead. On one hand, Chung San fell from a tall building just before the construction site was bombarded. On the other hand, the All of Us Are Dead Season 2 renewal announcement featured the show's four lead actors, including Yoon Chan Young. Still, without a trailer or even a teaser for Season 2, it is difficult to say for certain whether Chen Young will reprise his role as Chung San outside of potential flashbacks. All of us are dead must explain how Chung San survived if Chung San is alive, how did he survive? If Chung San is alive, all of us are dead will have to find a very clever way to explain how he survived. Even when considering Chung San may now be a half beef following his fight with Ji Nan the villain bit Chung San's arm, it is still difficult to picture how the character survived. A zombie. Or how B could indeed survive falling off of a building. But the bombarding of Hayosan is another thing entirely. Additionally, the piece of paper Anjo gave Chong San was covered in ashes at the end of season 1. Further suggesting he got caught in the explosion all of us are dead may want to include at time. Skip the K-drama will have to catch up with the real world eventually with more than 2 years and counting since the first season, all of us are dead will need a time skip eventually. Otherwise, most of the actors will have aged out of their characters by a potential season 3. Once again, using Sweet Home as a comparison, the series included a year-long time jump at the beginning of season 2, episode 4, allowing the story to catch up with the real world's passage of time. A time skip can also help All of Us Are Dead steer away from season 1's school setting and start a brand new story that All of Us Are Dead needs to live up to season 1's fight scenes, season 1's at the bar high for the zombie action, All of Us Are Dead season 1's fight scenes, and 1's fight scenes were a highlight of the show. The Particularly how the zombie action was choreographed. Given just how many zombie movies and TV shows are available, it is not easy for a new entry in the genre to stand out. All of us are dead zombies were relatively fast, allowing the show to have fast-paced, non-stop action in every episode. That is not to mention the half bee who behave like humans but are as strong and resistant as a zombie. Even the fights not involving zombies were great. All of us are needs a new premise now that the school is gone now at our school. No longer makes sense All of Us Are Dead is based on a webtoon called Now at Our School. A title that no longer makes sense for the show considering Highs and Highs and High has been destroyed. The school in which most of season 1 took place no longer exists, meaning All of Us Are Dead needs a new premise. The show cannot just place its characters in another school and start a new zombie apocalypse the outbreak has started already. And the main characters are currently in a military controlled quarantine zone. 
Perhaps this quarantine zone can be the new school. All of us are dead. Must reunite its main couples. The K-dramas main couples are currently separated. All of us are dead. Main couples are both separated by the end of season one. Chong San, who confessed his feelings to Anjo just before Julai Nam showed up, is presumably dead. Namra, who is dating Soo Hyuk, is now a half bee and cannot live together with her friends in the quarantine zone. Not only that, but Namra is helping other half bees who are being hunted by the military. After all they went through in season one. All of us are dead's protagonists deserve a happy ending. Or at least a reunion that doesn't take too long to have. All of us are dead should expand the story beyond Eos and all of us are dead can take place in other regions. All of us are dead is set in the fictional city of Hyosun. This is where the zombie outbreak began. And it is where most of the first season took place. By the end of season one, the government made sure to contain the outbreak in Hyosun by bombarding the city. In the original webtoon, just as the characters thought the apocalypse was under control, a Japanese fisherman was infected with the zombie virus. A similar thing could happen in All of Us Are Dead too, expanding the story beyond Hayusen. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.